We have a little bit more tweaking to do. We should uh, we should add a few more bones, but we don't need the mine the mesh row. I'm gonna hide hide that layer and extrude that bone. We have that so let's take another balls here and extrude along Y. Long, again, extrude along Y. And the purpose of this bone, I will explain uh, uh, in a bit. And now, the rig is done. And before we are going to do something else, we have to name each bone. And this can take a little while, so I will only show you how to do On some of the bones. Go to edit mode and select one bone. And on your armature bones, we can enter name in this box. This box bone we're gonna call master. That one we're gonna call feet dot left underscore M L for left M for master I copy that and rename it to R M and do the same thing for the hands and dot L underscore M and so on this will make it a lot easier find the bone you're looking for later. And now I'm going to leave you to name the entire rig after you want. And here I'm done, almost at least. There's some bones left. And we'll see that I have made some minor changes to the rig, as you can see here. That bone I have subdivided once on both sides and I have also done the same thing at the neck as you can spot in a little bit bit that's gonna aim this <sighs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit tired right now. Feed number seven on the left side. I'm going to notice that I hadn't saved this until now. Quite stupid of me, actually. That's a, not fun of when it crashes. And now I am going to change the, the bone, so I'm going to unselect the bone, unselect connected, and I'm in the child of none. So oh, for these five bones, make it uh, un not connected and child of none. And uh, the master bone was it sounds. And uh, now we should select these three bones and uh, uncheck the connected box and when the am checking the name feet dot r underscore m if you don't uncheck that connected that will happen it will distort the array so uncheck connected and make it um, a child of feet L or right master RM on all three and now if I manage to get into pose mode 
and I move that bone, the master bone, for the feet. There we go. Then the rest of the bone shall follow that one. Let's do the same thing on this side. Uncheck connected. Beat LM. Now shaking that is working. And the hands are a little bit easier because they are just one bone, not three. It's the number three, not connected. Hand, hand, RM. There you go. Unconnected hand LM. And there we go. We should just have these bones left. We can select them. One, two, three, four. Make them trial of master, all of them. This will enable us to move the entire rig except for the hands and feet using the master bone. Like this. Okay, now we should uh, add something is called a constraint, an IK solver to these bones. So, under constraint, add icon solver, object, target object, armature, target bone, should be that bone, I'm just going to copy, name, and enter it. And now if I will move the master bone, you can see the entire rig is following it. That is an undesired behavior, but we can fix that quite easily by counting then to one, two, three, four, and in input that number in chain len, and try again. This time, that bone will only inflict the leg, not the entire leg. Let's do the same thing on the other side, shall we? Copy the name of the master, choose the last bone, add a key solver, target object, or mature, target bone, paste and chain land 4 and we can test that one as well and the same thing for the hands copy add the constraint target object armature or the name of the armature target bone hand copy the paste mean and count the number of bones. There are one, two, three. So, chain line three. Copy, and that uh, you should get the procedure by now. Armature, and paste, chain line. And there we go. We'll notice that you can drag, still drag the feet and hand mouse bone further away than the rig. That is something you have to take care to look out for.